Hi, so recently I've seen a, quite a few people on Discord and on Reddit asking about how to set up chat guesser, so I thought I'd made a cool, quick like, little video explaining how. It's really difficult. First of all, uh, you go to the link uh, to the download, which I'm gonna link in the description. Uh, it opens a Dropbox link, you go here, you go di direct download. It's about 48, uh, 48 megabits, so it really shouldn't take long. Okay. Now the download has finished. Uh, uh, it opens, uh, opens an it's an exe file, so, but uh, so it's uh, the of Windows is probably gonna try to reject it at first. Uh, you gotta click more info and run anyway. It opens a classic installation. Uh, you don't have to click anything; it just uh, auto uh, auto installs, and that's it. Uh, You've installed Checkguesser. Now, what you do is press Ctrl and P at the same time, and it brings out the game settings. Uh, here you can choose your settings, second guesses, no car, no compass, uh, all that. Uh, the important thing is uh, also the Twitch settings. You can uh, change the uh, command to guess, get user stats, uh, all that stuff. You can play with it later. The most important thing here is the Twitch Connect. Here you type your channel name and also your bot name. Bot here refers to the uh, Twitch account that will receive the PMs to, uh, with the locations of the guesses and also give out commands uh, and stuff like that. Uh, you can do it with your own account but it, it's a little bit annoying due to the spam. Also, I heard that uh, you can actually get banned because Twitch thinks uh, you're a bot, but it, it hasn't actually happened to anybody, so don't be scared of that. Um, anyway, uh, you, uh, you gotta click uh, Get Authorization Token, which opens a, a Twitch website uh, where it asks you to verify, and then it just sends you back here, and now we're connected. I'm not gonna do it again because it's a little bit annoying, but it's, it's really straightforward. Just click this and just confirm. Okay, uh, now this is uh, and click save, obviously, and it should say, uh, it just uh, if you did everything correctly, which here uh, isn't that difficult, it should say connected here. Uh, now uh, the next part uh, isn't uh, mandatory per se, but uh, it's how to uh, get out the link to uh, the map uh, that that people will actually be guessing on. You can, you can post it in the chat every once in a while, but it, it's a little, little bit annoying, especially if you have a bigger stream. So it's better to set up a command for it, uh, and for that, uh, you will need a secondary program. Uh, unfortunately, there's no integrated uh, command for it uh, in ChefGuessr at the moment. Uh, so what, what you need is uh, something called uh, the Streamlabs chatbot. Uh, I'll also link, link it in the description. It's actually a little, uh, uh, it's actually uh, used for a lot more than than chat chat guesser. You can play around in a bunch. Uh, you can download it here. There's which documentation, which is like a really in depth rundown of all the things you can do with it. Anyway, uh, after you install it, uh, open it. Uh, there's three things here that are important for chat guesser. Uh, first of all, go to connections down here uh, with a little icon, and here you type your uh, Twitch bot. Uh, which uh, again can be your own, ca own account, can be a different account. Uh, if you if you want to use a dedicated bot account, you gotta set up a different account for the bot. Uh, just just a normal Twitch account. Uh, uh, there's there's really no difference. Uh, after you type after you've typed it in, uh, let me click the uh, uh, this. Uh, you also type in your streamer channel. Uh, also, and you, you again, you gotta get the authorization token. If you click generate token here, it will open uh, another window uh, where you ask to verify. Um, it it probably will ask you to uh, conf get a confirmation email on all, all that stuff. And after after you've done all that, uh, you should get the authorization token, and you click connect. And now the bot should be active. And after that, you gotta repeat the same for your streamer account. Uh, just type in your uh, streamer Twitch account. Again, generate token. Uh, opens a third party window, and after after that, uh, again, click connect. What's really important uh, is that every every time uh, you restart your computer or restart this program, 
is you gotta go to this uh, go to this tab and click connect on both, both the bot and the streamer otherwise this won't work uh, so yeah you, you don't have to get a new token every time but you gotta click connect it's a little bit annoying but it is what it is and after that you go to commands here uh, and you type it uh, you create your command that will give out the link uh, I actually have the, uh, have it already uh, prepared but uh, uh, if you click add, it, it lets you it lets you make a whole new command. So if I go to edit, uh, I've uh, I've done exclamation mark CG. You can do whatever you want. Usually it's something like CG or chat guesser. And here, uh, here's the text that the bot will support with. Uh, and here's the important part. It's the link uh, where people will actually make the regular guesses. Uh, as of now, it is uh, you know the prefix chatguesser.com slash uh, question mark bot uh, uh, equals and the username of the uh, of the account you want to handle the messages so either your main account or bot account that you set up uh, doesn't matter uh, this is uh, this is the link that you will give out to for people to actually guess so uh, after after you're done setting, setting this up uh, you get sub you uh, press submit and now if I go into my twitch chat and type in exclamation mark CG I should get a command uh, from my bot uh, with, the, with the map link and uh, here I have the map link uh, yeah uh, and here uh, if you click it sends an automatic message to your bot and uh, the user guesses yeah, you don't have to do anything else. Everything else is handled through the program. Uh, so yeah, uh, if I wasn't clear or anything, or if you have any more questions, uh, just leave a comment. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching.